Hello everybody and welcome back to our Wake Forest Demon Deacons Football Dynasty here in College Football 14 or NCAA Football 14. Before the Demon Deacons play the Auburn Tigers in the Music City Bowl in Nashville, Tennessee, today ladies and gentlemen, the bowl preview. It is the second time Wake Forest will visit Nashville, Tennessee to play in the Music City Bowl. Last time, they were visitors because they were playing LSU. This time, though, they are the home team against Auburn, who is 7-5. And what we're going to break down are the teams as a whole, each team's schedule, each team's top players, and so on and so forth. So with that said, let's get started with the 2018 Music City Bowl Preview. For the Demon Deacons, we start with our own gold and black. They have a B- overall rating, they have a B- plus offensive rating, and they have a C- plus defensive rating. For Auburn, they are favorites in every category. B- plus overall, an A in offense, and a B- plus in defense. Kirk Herbstreet likes the Tigers, who went 4-4 four four in their conference and went 7-5 overall. For Wake Forest, they finished 8-4 and 5-4 and and in their respected conference. Points per game, that will go to the Auburn Tigers. They are 53rd in the country, averaging about 31.5 points per game. For Wake Forest, only 25.8, and they average, well, they rank 104th in the country. Total offense, rush offense, and pass offense. Auburn gets pass offense with 249 yards per game, 37th best in the country. Total offense, 436. 0.3 yards, 44th in the country. Wake Forest matches up to 383 in total offense and 171 in the pass. But with Wayne Haynes, the Heisman underdog, 212 yards per game through him and D uh, Dustin Thomas, sorry, 212 yards a game through the rush. They rank 26 in the country. Auburn, 187 yards. Good for only 66. Defensive side of the ball, that's where Wake Forest shined most of the year. And that's where they're going to have to shine in this game. They were third overall best in the country at 331 yards given up per game. 154 of those were rush. 176 of those were pass. Wake Forest did not fall out of the top 10 in any defensive category. They were 8th in rush, 5th in pass. And for Auburn, they did not have a good defensive year. They were kind of mediocre with offense. They were even worse with defense. 70th in the country with 416 total offense given up per game. Rush defense, 204 yards accounted for that. And then 211 through the air. However, Auburn does have the advantage with minus 2 in turnover difference. 71st in the country. While Wake Forest flatlined at 0 for 59th in the country. For the team info, we start with the Demon Deacons. All time record, they are 462, 654, and 33. Their bowl record, 6 and 7. They are in the ACC. Conference championships, they have two of them. The latest one coming in 2006. Zero national championships. That's what Coach Mathis is trying to get them to ultimately. The rivals, the tri state area of North Carolina, UNC, Duke, NC State, and then they are in there as well. There are no rankings, there are no key injuries for Wake Forest, so that is a good sign. Their fan base, they are on a win streak of one off the final week of the regular season for them against Duke. They went 8-4 and four this year, regional TV record 5-1, and one, national TV record 3-1, and one, and they average about 31.5 thousand attendees at bb and t field so it's a game going to be on national tv considering it is a bowl game so they have that working in their favor for auburn they are on all-time record of 749 453 and 47 their bowl record 23 14 and 2 they are in the sec they have won eight conference championships our latest one coming in 2010 and then follow suit with that two national championships the same year, 2010. The rivals, of course, it has to be Alabama, but then it's LSU and Georgia. No key injuries to report or rankings. 
their fan base as a whole they're on a losing streak of three so take that as you will wake force make that some momentum the record they went seven and five this year three and two in regional tv play and in national tv play they went four and three they average attendance about eighty seven and a half thousand people for the team schedule how did wake force get where they are well they started their season off against rice and tulane and then they uh not hosted but went to chapel hill north carolina to take on number four unc they won all of those games and then they lost to fsu in florida state 58 55 in overtime then they played virginia tech north carolina state they won those games look at the points where they given up they gave up 13 to unc they gave up seven to virginia tech they gave up 10 to unc uh 20 to duke later down the road they had a good defensive year boston college they got their butts handed to them 52 to 14 they came back though against clemson in a big game at that time 16 to 13 maryland well sorry fiu they won very handedly maryland they lost to syracuse they lost to syracuse actually ended up finishing 23rd in the country so at that time it was a horrible loss but looking back it was a good loss i know you don't want to ever say good loss in the same sense but it was and then again they rounded out with duke who finished three and nine after that loss 32 20 for auburn and in the sec play they opened against lsu they lost 42 37 then they played number seven mississippi state or at least at now they are number seven mississippi state they won 44 38 in overtime they won against ul monroe they won against arkansas state they won against boise they won against mississippi they lost to Missouri. They won against Texas A&M. They won against Arkansas. They got their butts handed to Georgia. They lost very badly to an Army team. And then, of course, playing Alabama. Alabama is just not going to lose against these type of teams. And they did not lose to Auburn. They beat them 42-24. For the Wake Forest leaders, Dustin Thomas on the year 267 attempts. 195 completions 2003 yards total eight touchdowns six ints in the rushing game wayne haynes 280 attempts over 1500 yards 1643 to be exact 5.9 yards a carry 18 touchdowns in the average 137 yards a game receiving leader it was wayne haynes as well from the backfield 53 catches a grand total of 500 yards even nine and a half yards average three touchdowns 41 yards per game through the air defensive team leaders josh franklin pj brooks and brandon thomas thomas with seven sacks brooks with two interceptions and franklin with 56 tackles for auburn we'll have to go against magnum magnum pi he had an eye for the end zone 16 touchdowns to only eight interceptions 2,431 yards. He went 179 for 303. For their running game, Davis, 147 for a total of 899 yards. One tick off of 900. He averaged 6 yards a carry, 11 touchdowns, and averaged 81, close to 82 yards a game. Receiving Matthews, 65 catches, 884 through the air, 6 touchdowns, 74 yards a game, and averaged 13.5 per reception. For their defensive team leaders, Hanson, 35 tackles, Dunbar, 3 INTs, and Ostrander, 7 sacks. So as it stands, Kirk Street likes the Auburn Tigers. Ladies and gentlemen, who do you have in the Music City Bowl in 2018 from Nashville, Tennessee? Do you have the Demon Deacons who are 8-4 in the ACC? They beat teams like Clemson. Or do you have Auburn who lost to Navy, but again, beat two or three ranked opponents? Find out in the comments below. Find out next week as we take on the Auburn Tigers. Thank you for watching this bowl preview. Let me know your suggestions. Let me know your score predictions and all that good stuff down in the comments below. I'll see you later. Take care, guys.